What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the cat is not out the bag, so now I can address it. As I told you guys, there's a lot of things that I cannot say and I cannot repeat um, that I know and that I'm involved with. When people say, hey, Blue be making up stories. Blue be lying. Blue don't have no connections. Well, another story has just been leaked and the cat is out the bag. And now I could address something. As father, trainer, manager of undefeated, welterweight, superstar, the man I call the phenom, Jerron Boots Ennis, who has 30 wins, no losses, no draws, 27 big wins by way of knockout. Jerron Boots Ennis is 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 74 inch arm reach. His father, trainer, manager, who is a, a friend of mine's, and Bozy Ennis, he now let the cat out the bag that we contacted Jerron Boots Ennis to make a fight for undefeated three division world champion, former undisputed junior welterweight world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion, superstar boxer who's widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford is 30, uh, 39 wins, no loss, no draw, 30 wins by way of knockout. He is um, 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. So you can hear in his interview, Bozy Ennis, he states that BOK Prime contacted them to try to set up a fight with uh, Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boots Ennis. And who was the one that made the phone calls? Yours truly. Yours truly. I set up the meeting um, for Bozy to meet with BOK Prime. I, I set it up uh, when asked uh, who do uh, we who can we get uh, next the next fight for Terrence Crawford. I was the one that suggested let's make it happen with Jerron Boots Ennis. Let's see if Terrence Crawford is open to fighting Jerron Boots Ennis. Terrence Crawford said that he's more than willing to fight Jerron Boots Ennis. He actually stated that. I'm not worrying about Jerron Boots Ennis because he ain't never been in the ring with somebody like me. So if we could set it up, set it up. That's what Terrence Bud Crawford stated, right? Uh, so I reached out to Bozy Ennis that night. Uh, Bozy Ennis said they would be willing to fight Terrence Bud Crawford, okay? He said, we'll be willing to fight Terrence Bud Crawford in a heartbeat, that's exactly what he said. Uh, uh, so I set the meeting up for my partners at BOK Prime also, Zab Judah was on the phone. Uh, we set everything up, the meeting up. And then from there, uh, uh, there was a big meeting between Steven Espinosa and BOK Prime, okay? Uh, they had a, a big meeting to discuss the logistics and the possibilities of making Terrence Crawford and uh, Jerron Boots and his fight next, okay? Um, dates was thrown out. What dates would be available to make this fight happen? Uh, uh, you know, uh, and a lot of different uh, 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 logistics, okay, was being discussed that I cannot discuss, uh, obviously. And uh, so I told you guys, when people said, oh, uh, Terrence Crawford is not fighting this, I said that Terrence Crawford was willing to fight. Um, now, Bozy, he stated that, you know, uh, um, his loyalty to Showtime, uh, um, uh, 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 and, you know, he said in his video that, um, he felt like BOK Prime was trying to be slick, trying to undermine Showtime and make the fight behind Showtime's back. Um, and I'm going to confirm that, that Bozy did feel that way. Okay. And, and I was trying, and I, I tried to explain to Bozy, well, we was just trying to have a meeting with you to, to gauge if you was going to be interested in making a fight and what's the possibilities and what is your obligations, you guys obligations to Showtime. Okay, can is it possible that you can even do it? Uh and Showtime and uh Bozy, he said, you know, uh um he's not gonna you know discuss that. He would rather have Steven Espinosa uh on talk business and go over it, which they did, and they had an hour long meeting. Be okay prime and Steven Espinosa had an hour long meeting to discuss this fight. Now, uh, um, the other stuff I can't get into, why it didn't come to fruition or why everybody went in a different direction, 
I can't, I'm, I'm not, uh, um, I don't have the, you know, uh, um, it's not, it's not my place to discuss those things. That's Steven Espinosa's place. And that's, uh, uh, um, the, the, the head of BLK prime. That's their place. Uh, but listen to Bozy Ennis, he confirmed it. So listen, you're going to have to start calling people out and cussing, you know what I mean? Just like, uh, So he's he's uh, discussing. Uh, hold on one second. People out and cussing, you know what I mean? Just like uh, Ter So he said that Terrence uh, Terrence Crawford, both is saying that Terrence Crawford was saying that, you know, uh, uh, you're gonna have to start, you know, um, calling me out by name, so on and so forth, and cursing people out. Uh, we don't do that. Crawford told somebody said, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. only way I fight him if he call me out, he call me a. Uh, we don't. That means you really don't want to fight, Ted. You know what I mean? Everybody else you fight, they BLK people called us. Listen. Last month, because BLK people called us. You know okay. I mean? And um, I said, yeah, I said, oh, yeah, we take him in a heartbeat, just like that, right? So you heard what he said. He said, BLK people called us last month. That person would be me. So when people say, oh, Blue Blood don't have the ability to do matchmaking, I'm not a matchmaker. I just make suggestions, I just advise. So when it was asked, who can Terrence Crawford fight next? What would be a good fight? I said, ask Terrence Crawford if he'll give Jerron Boots Ennis the opportunity because I want to make the biggest fights possible. So I said, ask Terrence Crawford, talk to Terrence Crawford, and let's see if Terrence Crawford will be willing to fight Jerron Boots Ennis. Terrence Crawford was calling to see if we could make the Errol Spence fight. What, what place we could play, role we could play in making the Errol Spence fight. So then I said, if he can't get the Errol Spence fight, let's see if we can make the Jerron Boots Ennis fight next. Since Errol Spence is reportedly about to fight Keith Thurman, it would be good for Terrence Crawford to fight and give Jerron Boots Ennis the opportunity. It's the same thing I told Bozy. I called Bozy and I said, would you guys be willing to fight Terrence Crawford? I was asked about who should he fight and who, who could we get to fight? And I suggested you guys. Could you get on the phone? That was me. That suggested that. And Bozy said yes. And I put the, all the pieces together to have the conversations. And then the very next day, I did that at 10 o'clock in the morning. And Steven Espinosa was in the movie theater when Bozy called him. Right? So the cat is out the bag, I can tell you. So Steven Espinosa was in the movie theater when Bozy called him and said, we got the opportunity to have a conversation about fighting Terrence Crawford. Then Steven Espinosa said he'll be available the next day. And they had an hour-long conversation the next day. All facts. So... When people saying blue don't have blue don't know what he's talking about blue well there you have it another piece see i can't let this cat out the bag i can't let these but since bozy let the cat out the bag right that there was even a conversation right now when the higher ups have conversations and it fall through or whatever i don't play no role in that but i suggested bozy terence crawford said he would be more than willing to take the fight with with jerron boots in this uh, uh make it happen and then uh 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 he said Boots ain't never been in the ring with somebody like himself. So he ain't worried about it. Make it happen. Bozy said they, they jump at the opportunity. And whatever happened with the big wigs that didn't get it made, that's out of my hands. But I tried to put the pieces together to make it happen, period. And now you guys see it because the cat is out the back. <clears throat> so that's all I got for y'all. Do what you want with it. We'll go live on this subject later. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. I'm signing off. It's your boy, Blue. Peace.